Number 51. A cylinder of oxygen gas, which is O2 gas, is used in breathing by patients with emphysema, has a volume of 3.00 liters and a pressure of 10.0 atm. If the temperature of the cylinder is 28.0 degrees Celsius, what mass of oxygen is in the cylinder? Okie dokie. Let's list everything out that we got, and let's list what we need to find out. And from there, we could pick the right formula. So the first number that I see is that they give us a volume. And with gases, volumes are very important. So I have to write that number down. Volume is 3.00 liters. They gave us a pressure. So I have a p-value of 10.0 atm. And then they told us we had a temperature, 28.0 degrees Celsius. And they're looking for the mass of the oxygen. So maybe I'll just say mass of O2 equals question mark. All right. So let's see. I don't have any sets of variables. I only have one volume, one pressure, one temp. So that's not going to be the combined gas law. And since they didn't add anything with like density, they didn't ask for a density. So I'm not going to do the new formula that we looked for. This is just the regular ideal gas law, which is this one, PV equals NRT. Remember, all the units are in that R value. So 0.0821 is the constant number that you have to memorize. And that's ATM times liter divided by mole times Kelvin. So the pressure has to be an ATM. And cool, they gave it to us an ATM, so check that off. Volume has to be in liters. And thank goodness they gave us liters, so that's good. Now the N value, remember the N is moles. But they didn't say anything about moles, so maybe I'll just skip over that for now. We will always know the R value and the temperature has to be in Kelvin. They did give us a temperature, but it's in Celsius. So the first thing we have to do is convert that Celsius into Kelvin. We know how to do that, right? Celsius to Kelvin, all we gotta do is plus 273. You could do plus 273.15, but this should be good enough. 28 plus 273, I get 301 Kelvin. And now I have this value. So it looks like the only one that I don't have is my moles. So from this formula, I will get a mole value. Oh, but they asked for a mass and that's okay because we can always convert from moles to grams. Remember mass is in grams. So that's just a conversion. So let's first find out the moles and then go from there. Pressure is 10.0, volume is 3.00, equals, I'm going to put it as X because that's just a habit. You can put it as N, do whatever you got to do, whatever letter. This is times the uh, R value. And then the temp now is 301. We need to solve for X. So I'm just going to divide each side by the R and the T. Now you can get this as one number and one number. But just for simplicity of the video, I'm just going to divide by the two variables. And also, I don't want to do any unnecessary rounding in the middle of our formula because I want to be as exact as possible. So I'm going to try to plug in this whole thing into my calculator uh, at once. Okay, when we do this, the R value goes bye-bye and the T value goes bye-bye. So let's see. Now, maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just put the X value over here. So I get 10 times three divided by 0 0.0821 divided again by 301. Now let's see, they all give me three sig figs in the question. So I'll give three sig figs back 1.21 and that's moles of who? Oh, the oxygen gas, okay. But now we just gotta go from moles to grams. We know how to do that, right? Times by the ratio. Now we're just doing that, you know, ratio dimensional analysis. If you don't want moles of O2, that goes on the bottom. And grams goes up on the top. 
Remember, grams to mole of the same molecule is the periodic table. One mole on the periodic table is whatever the mass is. And in this case, this is 32.00. Cancel out the moles. And now we come to our answer. 1.21 1 times 32. 38.70. And actually, technically, we should have three sig figs. So 38.7 grams of O2. And you're done. Pretty simple, guys. What do you think? So thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Uh, if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. We're almost at 15,000, and it's all because of you guys. So my brother and I, we really do appreciate you all. I hope you're learning out there. If you want to check the channel out, we also have physics and math videos at the moment. So if you need help in any type of physics or uh, algebra, we have geometry videos, trigonometry, and pre-calc videos. Go check the channel out. All right? I'll see you later. Bye-bye.